Welcome back to Rudy's 1-6 World for another First Thoughts video, and we're ending the week on what I think is a big 6 scale high note, and that's because Hot Toys has announced their Black Adam figure from the upcoming DCEU movie starring The Rock. Now, in the past, I've been very critical of DC and their approach to their film slate, and honestly, I haven't been super excited for this movie. Not sure what it is about it. Uh, I do hope it's great. I just personally haven't felt the hype we normally see with comic-based movie releases. So I don't know if the movie is gonna be good or not, but I think this is a case where the figure might have to be judged completely separately from the source material. And that's because regardless of how the movie turns out, Hot Toys knocked this one out of the park. To say that I'm impressed is an understatement. To me, this has to go down as one of the best figures they've teased in a long time. Now, before jumping into particular elements of the figures, it's good to know, it's important to note that this is a DX release, which interestingly enough is coming in three versions. Now you're getting a base DX, which includes the figure, some accessories and a standard base. And then you're getting two deluxe versions, which include a diorama base and an additional head sculpt. Now the interesting difference here is that for those deluxe versions is that there's a color variation to them with one being called the gold armor version. So we'll dig a little bit more into that uh, as we go along. But first thoughts when seeing these promo pictures are wow. Hot Toys killed it. Let's start with the sculpts. Uh, this is one of the best sculpts I've seen from Hot Toys to date with an almost perfect likeness, likeness to the rock. And here the moving purse uh, system really shines. Uh, sometimes like with the Obi-Wan DX figure, I think it can impact the likeness on the negative side, but here I think it's actually really well incorporated and it doesn't hurt the likeness at all. Uh, and it does let you achieve some really interesting looks for the, for the sculpts. Now this is the second Hot Toys version of the rock we've gotten, with the previous one being from G.I. Joe Retaliation. And that sculpt was okay, but wasn't 100%. This sculpt blows that one out of the water. It, it's obviously a huge improvement improvement and it's got impressive texturing paint apps and they even have the veins popping in his head which is, is is pretty amazing overall now the second sculpt that comes with the deluxe version also looks pretty pretty good with the raised eyebrows although to be honest it does remind me more of his wrestling persona so i'm curious to see if he actually uses this expression in the movie now looking at the suit again really incredible level of detailing here that hot toys achieved the suit has some great texture and some really fine raised detailing throughout and it's not uniform it's it's it varies throughout so that's kind of nice and hot toys has created a new body too which matches the rock's build and is very screen accurate so overall figure just looks great and, and it's got the right proportions uh he does look like a stocky figure as he should figure also does come with a wired cloak that is removable and it looks great with the hood and, and the material selection and the slightly gold trim it has overall it just it really adds to the figure and, and it's such a nice addition that i think i might want to display him with the cloak on uh, now let's get to the interesting differences between the two deluxe versions of the figure and that's the color of the armored element so those include his boots his belt gauntlets and the trim around the lightning emblem and the neck in the basic and standard uh, deluxe, those are black matching the undersuit and they have great color apps and dry brushing so there are hints of gold underneath. In the gold armor version, all those pieces are all a nice shade of orange gold. And I'm guessing as the movie progresses, he's going to regain his power or his full strength and the armor is going to become cleaner as a result. But we'll have to see that in the movie. The other interesting difference here is the lightning bolt emblem. In the gold armor version, it's nice and bright. Um, while in the in the standard version it, it's muted and it's dirty and grimy so i'm again curious as to how this transition happens in, in the movie now the nice thing about the emblem is it is led lit lit and it has a light up feature um which i think is key and the nice thing too here is that this light up feature um is usb powered so we're not having to deal with button cell batteries uh, or any of that. So it's uh, USB powered, which means we can leave them on for, for some time. And I think that's really gonna make this figure pop. Hopefully this also means that they're gonna use the same technology for a Shazam figure from the sequel movie. Uh, they did tease the, the one from the original, but they never followed through with that one. Um, now, the other difference between the two versions of the figure is the color of the lightning effects, with the gold armor having yellow lightning versus the blue that comes with the alternate figures. I kind of think the yellow looks better overall with the black and the armored elements. The blue just reminds me a little too much of the Thor figures, so I definitely think the yellow pops more. 
Uh, finally, with the deluxe version, you do get a diorama base with some damaged ruins, and I do like that it also doubles as a sort of seat for the figure. I'm a huge fan of these bases, and I think this one looks great and goes perfectly with the figure. Only negative right now I'm seeing is the nameplate on the base. I think it detracts a little bit, but it's not a deal breaker. Um, so overall thoughts are this figure looks amazing. I think if the final product looks close to these promo shots, this could be in the running for one of Hot Toys' all-time great figures. Package as a whole is impressive with the base, the lightning effects, the detailing on the suit, and the cloak and the sculpts. I have mentioned in the past that I haven't been crazy or in a rush to buy figures from the DCEU, but this figure looks that good that I'm thinking of pre-ordering. And having the Superman figures from Man of Steel and some figures from BVS and Suicide Squad, I think this figure could really look great in my DC display. Which is a huge shout out to Hot Toys that they're making me reconsider my standing. Um, the other thing to note here is Inart is going to produce their own version of Black Adam. I have to be honest though, I don't know how they're going to top this, and even the rooted hair which might typically set them apart isn't really an option here, so I'm curious what their version will look like here. Finally, we do have to talk about cost. I, I think we're clearly in the $300 range cost for these figures. Basic version is up for $300 flat, while the two deluxe versions are coming in at $360, so $60 more for a base and an additional sculpt doesn't seem unreasonable. But we're clearly in another price bracket at this point, and I'm not sure how I feel about that totally, or how it's going to impact my collecting going forward. So that's a quick look at these figures. What do you think of this release? Are you as impressed as I am? And are you thinking of getting this guy? And what do you feel about the cost overall? Let me know. And if you are enjoying the content, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll touch base on the next video.